introduce yourselves. I'm Lily Munn. You, oh, sorry, let me interrupt. You know her from, basically she works for the, the same newspaper and we, she does a lot of stuff behind the scenes, but today she's actually gonna be presenting a lot of stuff at Crypticon, I'm sorry. And I'm Brian Gore, I'm also presenting at Crypticon this weekend. So um, uh, I know you guys are doing at least one together um, and then like others separately. I think you have what, like 30, 50? Um... <laughs> no, no, there'll be two other ones this year. I only did three this year. So. Oh, nice, nice. So that's like pretty, pretty cash. Yeah, right? yeah, pretty cash. Yeah. Um, uh, tell me a little bit about the one that you guys are doing actually in yeah. like uh, 15, 20 minutes from now. <laughs> I thought it was hard in 50 minutes. No, um, this one is a fan theory panel and it is... Uh, using Dante's Inferno as the inspiration for American Horror Story and seeing American Horror Story as a retelling of the classic. So this is the third year we've been doing it and we go over all how, how they connect, how it lines up and just totally go down that rabbit hole. So a, a couple of questions for you guys. Um, uh, actually first, um, how did you get introduced to the subject? Were you part of the initial thing? Or? So I had two years ago when, we, when this started you know, they just sent out a list of panels and what you're interested in. I saw this description, I was like, and I love Dante from grad school, so I was like, oh, this is fascinating. I need to oh, yeah, yeah. be part of this. So, and then ever since then, it's just been this really wonderful rabbit hole that we've been. And you weren't really convinced down. when you first. No, came I wasn't. Out. No, I was a little. No, but I, I kind of went in with like, I want to know what I want to know. I want to understand this, and uh, and then uh, yeah, Lily convinced me very quickly that this totally works. So it's been a fun journey. So you actually kind of convinced him a little bit to maybe fall down the rabbit hole with oh, yes. you a little bit. Yes. Nice, nice. Then, um, yeah, sorry, we go ahead. totally nerd about it. Like, there's some serious hardcore nerding to get to this. Yeah. You have to. Cool. And then um, uh, you guys are also doing some panels uh, separately. Um, do you want to talk about maybe a couple of those that you're sure. doing or have done? Yeah. Do you want to? Oh, Go first. oh sure. I, I actually only have one other one, and it is about uh, inclusivity in horror and the horror culture and the genre, and you know everything from you know disability, gender, race, any any kind of minority being positively included in the making of films, um, in uh, you know for people to view, and just kind of how that's grown in the community. Awesome, very, very cool. Sounds very, like, very topical and very, like, super important for but the world one, we live in right now. This the American Horror Story panel takes up most of my time. <laughs> so are you guys both fans, so we'll get back to, oh, to yeah. the other question, but are you guys both fans of American Horror oh, Story yeah. then? Yeah. So you knew about American Horror okay, Story no, before no, you I, came into yeah. it. It wasn't just through the Dante. No, no, no. It was always a big fan of the show already. So. And there's nice. a lot of Dante's theories going around, yeah. like on Reddit and stuff, but none yeah. of them are like this one. And how's yours different? Yeah, pretty loud. Or are you willing to say that, or should people like you know you want to keep that under your hat? <laughs> no. You have to come it, to the panel to find out. There's there's two circles of hell for each season. Nice, yes. nice, nice. <laughs> um, okay, so. Um, um, yeah, you were talk yeah. we were talking about your panels. Oh yeah, bit. so I'm also doing um, right after this one. I'm doing a panel on religion and horror. Oh nice, uh, which kind of ties in nicely. <laughs> so it's a nice follow up. And then uh, t later tonight at nine o'clock, I'm doing a panel on uh, filmmaking techniques and horror. Oh the, cool. Uh, uh, filmmaking techniques that have been uh, popularized through horror, or that like horror filmmakers have kind of innovated and in, uh, shaped over the years. And what, so you had, do you have like a background in history, art history, film history? Oh, for uh, me, I, I come at it from like a filmmaking perspective. Like I'm interested in filmmaking and so. Nice. Um, very you know, good. I, I, look at, I look a lot of what different filmmakers have done over the years, going all the way back to like the early days of film. And just seeing like the innovations in lighting and camera work that guys were doing since um, like even the late 1800s. Like you're seeing like you saw the really cool stuff. Um, yeah, in fact, a lot of the horror, what, what is considered horror oh, yeah. comes from the Victorians from, and the late Yeah, like, oh, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It comes from like oh, sorry. Yeah. it comes from like the late eighteen like the eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds. A lot of a lot of those influences are still carrying through today. So that's really what we're going to be looking at. Do you ever look into the surrealists? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, love surrealist filmmakers. Yeah, yeah. Well, cool. Um, thank you guys. I know thank you guys you. have to get ready for your panels. Um, uh, let me go ahead and shake your hands a little. <laughs> and thank you for taking your thank time so with much. me. Thank you.